Alright, what's up guys? Welcome back. Today we got a special unboxing. Uh, let's, see. let's see what it is. So we got the Satechi USB-C hub. Um, this is for you. So with the new MacBook Pros, Apple has done away with every port that's not USB-C and one headphone jack. So to get those ports back, we had to get this, a USB-C hub. And um, you guys wondering, why do we need that? Well, we need, we still need the functionality of all these ports because the other tech has not caught up yet. But eventually in the future, we won't even need a hub. We'll just need one wire, which is USB-C. If you guys don't know what USB-C is, check out this video right here. It'll explain everything about it. You will no longer be confused. Yep, you'll need one wire until Apple changes it up again. There you go, Apple. <laughs> There's like a bunch of hubs out there and I did my research and found out that this is probably the best hub that money can buy. Well, this hub comes with one ethernet port, one HDMI port, three type A ports, USB type A ports, one USB type C charging port, a SD and a micro SD port. I think it's only like 10 bucks more expensive than the main like USB-C hubs that people have been getting, but this one comes with ethernet. A lot of those other hubs don't come with ethernet, which is like the main thing for us, especially when we're uploading videos and we don't have an ethernet port on our MacBook. So we gotta make do with something, you know? Plus it comes with SD card, so when we're, uh, when we finally get a camera, <laughs> uh, we can use the SD card and start just popping it in there and start editing like that. All right, let's get on with this. I got this, bro. It's well packaged. Well packaged, little So yeah, this is it. Yeah, you got your USB 3.0 ports right here. You can tell because it's blue. You got your HDMI right here. You got your USB-C in. You got your SD card, your micro SD card, and your one extra USB-C, and then your ethernet. The main reason why we got that right there. The cool thing about this USB-C hub is that it has passed through charging. So if you guys have a phone that's connected to this, it'll charge your phone via your MacBook. And then if you have your MacBook charging too, you got infinite power right there. You got the space gray colorway. It kind of matches, but not exactly, because you know, obviously, Apple and the royalties, and no one can produce Apple's colors without Apple's. If you guys haven't seen the MacBook video, yeah, if you guys haven't seen this MacBook video that we had an unboxing for, check it out right here. Review coming soon. So, if you guys are wondering how the 2017 MacBook Pro is working out, um, we're working on that. The power output for this USB C hub is 49 watts, which is not too bad. I mean, it's almost like the same as all the other hubs out there. The ethernet port supports 10, 100, 1000 uh, gigabytes. So that's a uh, good news. And one cool thing is that this HDMI port is 4K compatible. So if you guys have a 4K monitor, you guys want to hook this up to, you can. This HDMI port is at 4K 30 Hertz, but uh, you can also down res it to 1080p at 60 Hertz. I would have liked to see 4K at 60 Hertz, but you know, you get what you pay for. So the one downfall of this USB-C hub is that it's not Thunderbolt 3 compatible, which I don't find it that big of a deal because all the other ports on your MacBook will be Thunderbolt 3 compatible. So you're kind of just losing out on one port, but because you're losing out on that one port not being Thunderbolt 3, you're gaining all these other ports, so which is really helpful and I'd be willing to do that. So in conclusion, this is a really great USB-C hub if you guys have a new MacBook Pro. It brings back all the functionality that your old MacBook Pros would have had. And then even then some, like the old MacBook Pros didn't even have a ethernet cable. It's really small, it's really, really lightweight, so you don't have to carry around all those million dongles. You can just carry around one of these and you're fine, you know? It's gonna easily like fit in your pocket or your backpack or wherever you need to go. It's really, really smooth, really durable. The one downfall about this is that it's not Thunderbolt 3 compatible. Yeah, honestly, I can't even think of anything else. Maybe if this wire had a little magnet thing that can just connect right here. So this wire doesn't stick out constantly. But other than that, I think it's a really great USB-C hub. If you guys are planning on buying one, click the link down below. It helps us out. We really appreciate it. Overall, I give it a nine. So yeah, if you guys are wondering if this is busted, busted, no. Nah. It's not. See you guys. It's not busted, busted. If, it, if it breaks, it's busted, busted. If it doesn't break, it's not busted, busted. Catch you guys next time.